And let's look and see how God had designed man. Man was made in the image of God. In book number six, I'm dealing what is the image of God. Oh, oh, that book is going to bless you, book number six. What is the image of God? Does God look like Robert Kayanja? Does he look like Max from Texas? Or does he look like somebody from New Zealand? How do we relate? Is God Chinese? Or is he American? Is he African? People have come out with all kinds of stuff. But we know very well that God is a spirit and he's a Holy Spirit. He's a Holy God and he's a spirit. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Aren't you glad God does not look like you? I said, aren't you glad God is not looking like you? He would be a very ugly God. I'm glad God doesn't look like me. He made us in his image. But without, without the presence of God, everything is a confusion. The problem is with the world today, since, let's say, independence, nations are in confusion. I'm just looking at Uganda. 1962, we get independence. 66, we are at a crisis. 71, Amin shows up. 79, the Tanzanians drive in. 1980, Obote returns. Death begins for four five years. Museveni goes to the bush. War is everywhere. 86, he comes to power. Kony rises up again. More people die. So you look at the whole country and you say, what is missing? Not the guns. What is missing? Not brains, universities we have. We have professors. What is missing? Not witchcraft. You have even a lake where they don't permit you to take a, a, a sheep there. We, we have dedicated lakes to even gods we don't even see. What is missing is not witchcraft. What is missing is it land? Is it rain? I mean, we have everything to make a nation so powerful. Look at the natural resources. Look at the fish. I don't know how much a fish like that will, co will, will, will cost in New York. How much will that fish cost? In China, how much? Just shout. You have an idea? Probably not. So you ask yourself, What happened? You went there and you came back. <laughs> Confusion, huh? A fish like that one is costing how much? In New York, it'll probably be like ten dollars. That whole big fish. Big, big fish, like sixty dollars. Dollar Okay, sixty dollars will be like two hundred thousand. Roughly two hundred thousand, or more than two hundred thousand. Think about how many fish do you need to catch out of Lake Victoria. So let's calculate. If Uganda was to sell those fish to New York, let's sell a million. That will be sixty million dollars. Just selling a million fish. Fishes. People of God, do you know how rich you are? What about coffee? So what is lacking? What is lacking? We are 40 million Ugandans. With the square meters we have, even if we don't use tractors, we can cultivate it. So what is the problem? What is the problem? Lack of the presence of God. Because Genesis tells me that when there was no presence of God, 
darkness covered the whole earth. Though God created the heaven and earth, the heaven was so perfect, the earth was like that. And guess what happened? Everything was mingled. Everything was mixed up. Everything total confusion. As a result, darkness covered the earth. And the Bible said then the earth was void. The trees were not there. The, even the mountains. Soil and water was all katogo. Why? Because of the lack of the, pres the, the, lack of the presence of God. When God showed up, light came. When God showed up, the rivers came. The fish like this one began. I'm telling you when the presence of God is there, wealth will surface. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Wealth will surface. Oh, lift up your hand and shout, I need the presence of God. Oh, you can do better than that. The reason why you are in total confusion, in fact, confusion is bordering on, on, on madness. When, when things are confused, it's bordering on total madness. You don't know what is the leg and what is the, what is the arm. It is amazing that God begins to set things in order. I pray for the spirit of order to come into your life. I said that I pray the spirit of order to come into your life. There must be order in your life. There must be order in your life. First, first things first. God is first. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. First things first. The love of money is the root of evil. But what is the hatred of money? It's total madness. You didn't hear what I just said. The love of money is the root of evil. The hatred of money is total madness. Money is not supposed to be hated. Money is supposed to be used. We love God. Then we use money. These pastors from, from Kalangala, they love God. Those are men and women of God. They have dedicated their hearts to God. But they don't even have a transport. They don't even have a boat to go to 84 islands. What's the problem? I was asking, what's the problem? What's the problem? Is it a demon refusing you to get a boat? No. What's the problem? Let me tell you the lack of the presence of God. You see, you can have a church, but without the presence of God, you are in trouble. You can have a home. Without the, I mean, without the presence of God, you just have a house. You just have a house. You can have a business. Without the presence of God, you can't have success. We see that King Nebuchadnezzar, with all the power of Babylon, he realized he needs the presence of God. And he said, go get me young children. Because Mark chapter 10 says, unless you are like these children, you will never inherit the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So he said, get me the children, those in whom the Spirit of God is. I want those ones who can carry the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of the living God. In Daniel chapter 1, he totally reveals what is the spirit of God. When you put it in ordinary terms, what do you come up with? What do you look, what, what do you gain out of the presence of God? What is the spirit of God? When the spirit of God is on somebody, what happened to that person? How does he behave? How does he talk? How does he minister? How does he do his thing? Different from the person who doesn't have the presence of God. Uganda, the Holy Spirit has come in Uganda. We are receiving the spirit of God. The way we do things is going to be different. Hello? The way you do, you conduct yourself is going to be different. 
Thank you for your love's enthusiasm. The way you're going to run your marriage, run your business, it's going to be totally in, 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 inconceivable. People are going to love you. You're going to become a role model. You will lend nations and you'll never borrow. The way you conduct your business, the way you conduct your friends, the way you reach your, conduct your church, the way you do everything will reveal to the people that God is with you. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. So we look in Daniel chapter 1 and verse 4. He said, children in whom there was no blemish. No blemish. They have not been damaged. Religion has not damaged them. Tribalism has not damaged them. Hatred has not damaged them. Politics has not damaged them. Education has not damaged them. They believe in who they are and whose they are. They know that their God is, can do all things. We God all things are possible. They love God. They honor their mother and their father. When you give them a mess, they come out with a message. I don't know whom I'm talking to. I'm sorry, I'm preaching to really to damaged people. I'm preaching to damaged people. Religion has damaged you. Religion and politics has damaged you. You've even lost common sense. You don't realize that the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. You are here to leave a mark that cannot easily be erased. God has chosen you for such a time like this. To defeat the devil and glorify God. Come on, raise the microphone. You, you have to understand this, child of God. That's why by 31st December, you ought to become a millionaire. You, you, some of you don't understand. <laughs> The presence of God. He said, "And children in whom there's no blemish, but well favored." Lift up your hand and jump seven times. Said, "I'm highly favored." I'm highly favored. When the favor of God is upon your life, it means there's no curse. Stop talking about curses. Stop talking about devils. You just be a Jesus person. Let the world see Jesus in you. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Let the world see Jesus inside of you. You had the gentleman, Mr. Bosco from Kalangala. I don't know who he is. But he said, I've been watching that man. And he has sent me big fish. I'm not yet there. I don't know who he is. Let me tell you, let the people see Jesus in you. Not religion. Not hatred. Let people see Jesus in Let them see the grace of God in you. Let them see the Holy Ghost in you. Wealth is coming to you. I've got sauce and fish. I'm craving for a whole week. Why don't I become a billionaire? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. The Bible says, my God shall supply all your needs. You think people don't like you? Because the people around you are telling you, we don't like you. You are bad. But Kalangala people love me. They plan two months to bring me fish. If you don't like me, go to Kalangala. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah, glory hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. He said, in whom there is the Spirit of God. 
Children in whom there is no blemish. But they are well favored. And skillful in all wisdom. You see wisdom comes back. Wisdom comes back. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Wisdom has come to you. And wisdom is what creates wealth. Wisdom is what builds the house. Proverbs say wisdom chapter, chapter 3. Wisdom has built her house. So if you're looking for a house, get wisdom. If you're looking for money, get wisdom. If you're looking to be married, get wisdom. The reason why you ain't getting married, ain't getting married. You ain't got no wisdom. Oh my God. Proverb 9 verse 1, sorry. Proverb 9 verse 1 said, Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has hewn out her seven pillars. Seven foundations on which she runs her affair. Wisdom is a she, never a he. I told the girl, you don't have wisdom. Wisdom is a she, not a he. Oh Lord. The Bible says a wise woman who can find her. A wise woman who can find her. They have told you women, wait for a man to take care of you. That is a damaged message. Fake news. Fake like news, like Dan, Dan, Donald Trump says. Fake news. That is fake gospel. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says, Proverbs 9 1, wisdom has built a heart. She has hewn out her seven pillars. A wise woman who can find her. A wise woman who can find her. Proverbs 31.10 Who can find a virtuous or wise woman? For her price is far above the rubies. You young girls who are not yet married, put up your hand. Before you get the anointing, get wisdom. Before you find a man, get wisdom. Even though you ain't saying no amen, I'm going to tell you the truth. If the eyes are open, and nobody has said none to you, we know what's lacking with you. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. Go ahead, verse 11. She will do him good. Okay, the heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need. Come on, put it up. Have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her good from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands she planted a vineyard. She gathered her lions with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spiddle, and her hands hold the, the distaff. She strengthens out her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow. For her household, for all her household, are clothed with scarlet. 
she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen and sells it. She delivers girdles unto the merchants. Strengthen and honor are her clothing. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Men are looking for such a woman. They're looking for somebody to put in the Bible. This man, this lady puts cash in her man. Come on now. It's getting dark right now, yet it's night. <laughs> so whoever told you you young lady that just beautify yourself and wait for a man to take care of you he's a witch doctor that's why I release the anointing of God that you will be richer than any man in the world Hallelujah. Amen. Ngambi and Hallelujah. Amen. Gambo Murina and Yaya Queen and the sister Linda. Sister, what you waiting for? And you go, Linda. Who are you waiting for? The Bible says her husband is respected in the gates. Her husband is respected in the gates because the way he's dressed. And the lady is the one dressing him. The lady is the one giving him honor. Gamba sister Kulina Anye. Where is the wisdom? Sister, you've been waiting for Mr. Wonderful. When you are the brother wonderful, you've been waiting for brother wonderful. Brother wonderful. Brother handsome. Brother Brother Cash. Brother Sente. I'm here to tell you you are sister wonderful. Don't wait for anybody. Now I'm bringing the message home. We as the church, we are the bride of Christ. The reason why we are poor, we have no wisdom. We have no wisdom. We don't wake up in the morning. We don't work. We don't do things. And our husband, Jesus Christ, they are laughing him at the gate in every city. The poorest in every city are the born again Christians. You had them, the pastors from Kalanga. Verse 18. For them to raise money for fuel in a car which they were given, it took them two months. So if Jesus was to ask the church in Uganda yes. today, to ask every Molokoli in Uganda today, that I'm coming back in one month, but go warn my people. Go warn my people that in two months I'm returning. The world is coming to an end. Do we have a church in Uganda that can get the money, buy sound systems, put up concerts, do everything they can to win everybody that in two months Jesus is coming back. Get ready. Can we afford it? Do we have enough vehicles? Do we have enough money? Do we have enough preachers of the end time gospel? Do we have enough choirs? Do we have enough singers? Do we have enough radio stations and television stations? Can we translate the gospel in every language so that the Kumams and the Lugbaras and the Ranyankole and everybody can hear the
When God looks at his church, he said, the reason why you are poor is not because I didn't die for you. It's not because I didn't save you. It's not because I didn't give the word. It's not because I didn't give the Holy Spirit. It's not because I don't love you. I love you to pieces. Because that's what happened to me at the weeping post. Certain nine weeps. The body of Jesus became pieces. And he grabbed them and took them to Calvary. And they were nailed to the cross. This piece is, le is leaking down. This one is falling off. And he stood there for three hours. He showed his love for us. He did it publicly. Can we love him publicly? Can we worship him publicly? Can we believe his promises publicly? The bride of Christ is not wise. The wise woman of Proverbs chapter 9, chapter, 3, chapter 31, you don't see him leading, de dealing with the devil. You don't see him. He woke up in the morning and, and he started interceding and binding devils. You don't see him getting into uh, waking up very under the morning and saying, I bind you, devil. I crush you. Don't kill my goods. She knows that her good is good. Her her goods goods are good. She's like a mighty ship that come from afar. She carries the best. She deals with exportation and importation. She understands trade, commerce, and, and, and business. This is not an ordinary woman. She knows the value of trade. God left us a command. We will lend nations and we will never borrow. Today, the church of Jesus Christ is so broke. I was talking to a group of young leaders today. And I was telling them, and I said, listen, if and only if because if it happens we are in trouble that the politicians the soldiers and everybody and politicians the members of parliament and everybody sits together and they said <clears throat> we've led the country the way we have led it but we want to give a chance to born again Christians we want to give a chance to you prayer people you lead the next three years here's the country you lead now what kind of a country will Uganda be Uganda I'm throwing this question to you. What kind of a country will Uganda be? When Jesus came on this earth, he came to give the only way not one of the way he said I am the way not a way not one of the way he said I am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the Father except through me. He didn't come to offer alternatives. He came to offer the only solution. 
Have you ever realized that you are the only solution your family has? You are the only solution your family has. To get out of poverty, to get out of sickness, to get out of diseases, you are the only answer. The Holy Spirit is the only answer to the world today. For the world today. Thank you for your love and enthusiasm. Child of God. Lack of the presence of God. Babylon was a very great empire. But Nebuchadnezzar realized everything is dying. And they went in the house of God and they, they, took, they didn't take the money. They did not take the clothes. They did not take everything. They took vessels. They took young people who have the presence of God and the vessels of worship and the vessels of God. That's what they took. They took it to Babylon. And Babylon went to another level. And these young people, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, they went as slaves. They went there as children. Children. Not young youth. Children. Under 12 years old. Daniel is dragged into Babylon city. And in four years, he's the governor of the Babylon, greater Babylon. In four years, children taking over and directing a nation to where it should go. And they destroyed the gods of Babylon. The Babylon. Yes, they were thrown in fire. But they came out swinging, walking, and running and dancing. Yes, they were thrown in the lion's den. But they came out powerful. They came, their God became the God of the land. Thank you for your loud enthusiasm. I'm sorry, I'm talking to people who have been totally damaged by religion. Because of the wisdom. Listen. Daniel just interpreted the dream of the king. And the king wanted to kill all the witches. Daniel said, don't kill anybody for his sins. Let them, they're going to believe our God. In the name of Jesus. All the witches in Uganda are going to say Jesus Christ is Lord. Jump seven times and believe God. Do you know how they're going to believe God? They're going to believe God because the Lord's presence is going to become stronger in your life. Okay, nobody wants the presence of God. Anybody hungry for the presence of God? The presence of God must become stronger. Must become our personal desire. He said, honor and, and strength is her garment. Jesus Christ did not only live, and that is the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament. He said, honor, honor and strength. I think. 31. Proverbs. Go ahead, verse 24. She maketh fine linen and sells it and delivers girdles into the merchants. Go ahead, 25. I'm looking for her honor and her glory, please. Yeah, it. strength and honor. Look at strength and honor. You see that? Do you see that? I'm asking you, do you see that? Strength and what? Anna. Strength and what? Anna. I have clothing. That is Old Testament. Revelation chapter 5. New Testament. Let's see if we can pick up strength and honor. This woman has only two things. Only two things. She uses to change the world. Saying with a loud voice. Whether is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. So Jesus died yes, we have to fun. receive Okufuna. seven things. When this woman called the wise woman, oh, 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 oh. she's using only two out of seven. 
and she's making her husband happy. The church of Jesus Christ has seven, seven blessings, seven attributes, and the world doesn't know our Jesus. They know more about Coca-Cola than they know Jesus Christ. In Kalangala, they know what Coca-Cola is. And Mukasa. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, Christ of Nazareth the make of heaven and yeah, earth, yeah, the creator of Lake Victoria, oh, he Victoria. is not known. And yet we have seven things. Slap the pastor next to you. Slap him. Say in the name of Jesus. You must receive the presence of God. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. You must receive the presence of God. Jesus died that you may receive riches. Yes, you are for Among the seven things Jesus died for, or Jesus received when he was slain, riches was part of it. Which means, when there is no presence of God, Genesis chapter 1, there is confusion. Money that's supposed to be for investment, you use it for medicine. Money that's supposed to pay your rent, you lose it in the marketplace. Hello? Money that was supposed to be for investing, you use it to marry a woman. That's why God is removing all this confusion from you. Saves you for free. Heals you for free. Does mass wedding for you for free. God is getting the confusion out of you. That you can keep your money. For something greater than what you are using it for. That's why he provided the food for the children of Israel in the world. He never gave them money for food. Many of us here today, all of us here today, we work for food, clothes, and sleep. We are working for these three masters to eat, to sleep, and to wear. And yet, when he gave them money from Egypt, when we have our sent to government, took care of food, and took care of shelter, and took care of the way to sleep. He turned the desert into a five star hotel. The sun never came on them. There was a pillar of fire that provided heat, light and energy. So none of them needed a yaka. Not even, even water boards. What the national because water. there was a rock that followed it. What was that used for the money? They were going to use it to build a place of worship so that the presence of God will remain with them. The Bible said their clothes never tear, their shoes never broke. People of God, you should stop working for yourself. You should stop putting money into your, yourself. Your money is for something bigger than you are. It's to leave an inheritance for your children's children. But you're working for the stomach. Food for the stomach and stomach for the food. 75% of your monthly income goes to food and your livelihood. The 25% is the taxes you pay government. So before you are, you've already finished the month, you are already in, in, uh, in, in uh, what do you call it? Advance. 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 <laughs> Lack of the presence of God. Whatever you make, you eat. Whatever you make, you consume. You can't even invest. The devil is a liar. 
Lift your hands and said, I receive the presence of God. In Genesis chapter 1, we see where God put man. Chapter 2, he builds a garden for him. He put gold there. He put silver there. He put everything there. He put the four rivers. Four rivers. Four corners of the earth. He put Adam there. When God left, he went back to heaven. The devil came. Adam became broke. Too broke. He became naked. In seconds. Totally naked. In seconds. A sign of poverty. I want you to understand that the presence of God in your life is going to create wealth for you. If I was you, I will not be asking God for money. I will be asking God for the presence of God. I will be asking God for the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Lift your hand and say, Father, in your name, I receive your presence. Your presence. Lack of the presence of God is what has created poverty. Now God is here. You are not yet millionaires. I command you to become millionaires in less than 50 days. In fact, in 47 days, we are left with 47 days. Money is coming. Let me ask you a question. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Let me ask you a question. We're going to pick it from here tomorrow. By Friday, by Friday, many of you already be millionaires. 1.1 million shillings is all you need to become a millionaire. Lift your hand. Just laugh. <laughs> Now listen to this. How many of you today went and opened up on a bank account? How many? Stand up. You went and opened up a bank account. Come here. What is, what, is, what is your sleeps? Mundage bank sleep. Is a bank was in the game. Papa Zavava de Kuvamo Bank as a jail. And Gambia Geneva into bring your sleeps here. Oh, Papula. A cup of placalido dawa. going to pray for these accounts that you will make money. This one was when? The 13th. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these banks slips, and these are bank accounts that these people will receive the money in Jesus' name. You have yours? It has to have the date of today. Bring it. I'm praying for it.
Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your people. You know, the Bible clearly said, look at me, you people. The Bible said, obedience is better than sacrifice. So tomorrow, I'm going to deposit 50,000 shillings for each one of you. You may be seated. Amen. God is so determined to see his word come to pass. Oh, come on, somebody clap your hands. Jesus. You see, child of God, the problem is not that money is not there. It is your disobedience. It is your total disobedience. God says something. Hey, and he said, I'm coming back. You have two months to preach the gospel to everyone. And you said, hey, are you sure you're coming back soon? How many of you did not open up your bank account? Stand up on your feet. Come over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm glad you did not open your bank account. Because I don't know where I would have got the money. To give you. I don't know where you have you, you I don't know where I would have gone in the money to give you. I don't know. I'm glad you did it. Because the whole of this week, I mean, the whole day, I've been praying. And he said, You are going to give a seat to the people who are opening up the bank account. I said, God, how am I going to get it? He said, Go sell this one. Go sell that one. Go sell that one. So I put it on the market today and I'm going to sell it. And I say, God, it may not be enough. The people are so many. But I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did it. <laughs> Me, I've obeyed God. Hallelujah. Except the other one who was not here. What's your name? What's your name? Come here. This one was not here yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. What is Enoch? Enoch, a little dawa. Boyo. Yeah, just just stand over here, because you're not here yesterday. I'm going to give you a seed. When, when you go back, you open up a bank account. You'll become a millionaire. In Jesus' name. My God, my God. Among all of them, he's the only one who has come. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, you come today. Amina. We can go with obedience. What is it? Ah. So, when you go home, when are you going back? Wednesday. So, this is $200. You open up a bank account. Money is going to come to that account. And you're going to go around the world and change the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray for you all. That when you are strengthened, you will strengthen your brethren. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord find favor before you. Somebody to help you out. God bless you. Go home. You, ju you just have to repent. 
Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. God is good. Hey. Uh, lack of the presence of God the, uh, stops the miracles that God has for you which God has already ordained to take you to another level. We are the church of Jesus Christ. He blesses the work of your hand. Genesis shows us that when God created us, He created us in His image. And He put us in a beautiful garden. Confusion came when the devil came. When God arrived, He straightened out the confusion. Lift up your hand. So I need the presence of God. Say it again. Say it again. I need the presence of God. Say it again. I need the presence of God. The presence of God will do something. Someone here, the doctors have uh, have diagnosed you with 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 a with a problem on your heart. You you have a damaged damaged valve or something is, is damaged on your heart. You have the pain in your chest. You are worried for your life. Put up your hand. You who have that condition, the doctors, you've been to the doctors and the doctors said there's something wrong on your heart. If you haven't been to the doctors, it's fine. Don't put up your hand. But you've been to the doctors and the doctors told you you have a problem on your heart. Something is damaged. Come here. Come I had a story A story from afar That there is someone who loved me The old lady, come Ash has asked these people whether they understood what I said. What is this you have? Medical forms. What do they say? Okay. Okay, God is going to help you. I call people with a heart condition. You got a problem on the heart. The doctors told you you got a problem with your heart. Those people, you visited a doctor and they checked on you. They found a condition in your heart. Something is wrong with your heart. If you have other illnesses, you can step out. We shall call you. You went to a doctor. Yeah. So the rest of you go back and sit. Go back and sit if you're not in that condition. If you have any other disease, go back and sit. This is heart condition devil. Don't come when you don't have that condition, you just come on you. Touch your heart. What is give them a microphone? Sister, what's the problem? It's the heart and the goat. A pastor went to this scan and they told me the, the, uh, the right side of my the baby in the womb, it is big on the heart. The baby's heart? Yes, the right side. Oh, it's okay. featured. Yo, it's your man. Right. Huh? 
The heart is swollen. Okay. 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 My valve is leaking, so when I work hard, I lack oxygen to the brain. My heart got damaged okay. and has been born. Ah. I have a swollen heart. They, they died it's not a swollen heart. Oh. Oh. Please let these people one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come here. That he loves me. I had a story from afar that he someone who loves me he left his kingdom to die for me because he loves me just lift up your hands to the Lord everybody I have a story upon the name of Jesus 21 times I have said Jesus a story from our father that there is someone who loves me he left his kingdom to die Lift up your hands and worship the Lord. I have a story. A story. you feel that touch your heart touch your heart I have a story from afar that they leave someone who loves me Sharam Rodoko Shetarele Baba to die for me because Pray for your baby to be okay. Touch! Touch! I have a story from afar that there is someone who loves you. He left his kingdom. I rebuke the attack of the enemy. I rebuke the re I command the repair of your heart. No more leaking. Valve be made whole. Do you usually feel pain here? Do you usually feel pain here? Sometimes, yeah. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Seven times. No more pain. Because as I came and I lay hands on you, 
I could feel something doing like this. I saw something doing like this. Which causes pain or Well, what the Lord has done for you here, when you go back to the doctors, check it again and see a miracle God has done for you. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. Somebody clap your hands with Jesus. A story from afar the day leave someone who loves me. To die for me Lift your hands Say the presence of the Lord Heals me Stops the confusion Thank you Lord I'm free I'm blessed in your name hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> the power of god is coming here god is going to baptize us in the holy spirit and he's going to break every yoke in your life if you're here You've never given your love to Jesus. You don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But today you say, I need God in my life. I need Jesus in my life. Put up your hand. I'll pray for you. God bless 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 you. Those of you putting up your hand, stand up and come down here. Jesus loves you. He left his kingdom to die for us. Clap your hands to Jesus. People are coming to the Lord. I love the story from afar be someone who loves me. me. He left his, his kingdom, kingdom to die for me because he loves me. I have a story. Pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Today, I surrender to you. Jesus, you are my Savior, my Lord, and my King. Write my name in the book of life. I denounce the devil. I turn my back on him. Jesus, you are my Savior, my Lord. My life is all yours. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Put your hands on your head. I rebuke every sickness and disease. I rebuke every demonic activity. I rebuke every bandage. I said to the devil to loose you. You demons of the dead. You witchcraft. You fear. Get out. Loose these people but in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for your hand. Thank you for your touch. You are delivering your people free in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome to the family of God. I want you to follow Pastor Chris. He's over there. 
and, uh, and just go with him. We want to see how we can help you and support you. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands to Jesus for the saving grace. How many of you are ready to receive the presence of God? And today is coming to give you wisdom. There is no debt that you cannot pay. God is going to give you the wisdom. By the time it's six this morning, you have all the money you need in Jesus' name. Every problem in this world is a wisdom problem. Every problem in this world is a wisdom problem. I pray that the presence of God tonight will give you wisdom. For wisdom is a principal thing. And in all you're getting, get wisdom, get understanding. Wisdom is a principal thing. Proverbs 3, I believe. Wisdom is a principal thing. Of, Proverb 4, 7. Let's read it together. One, two, three. Hey. No, I say let's read it together. One, two, three. Go. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, Therefore get, wisdom. get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Therefore, get what? Therefore, get what? Amagezi. Get there, forget what? Funachi Amagezi. They have told you that wisdom is the principal no, thing. Therefore, no Rachel. Get what? Funachi. Get wisdom. Amagezi. And in all you're getting, Funakokona. get understanding. Today, Orwalero. may God give you wisdom. Wisdom how to handle your money. Wisdom how to handle your life. Wisdom how to handle your enemies. Wisdom how to handle your opportunities. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I need wisdom. Do you? Do you? Children in whom there is wisdom. Wise in all skills. Jesus died that we may receive wisdom. Yes, you have from And the Bible says, if you are lacking wisdom, ask. You will be given. That's what we're going to do. He gave us commandments to publish these books and give them for free. We are now over 600 and something thousand copies, copies since we started. Book number six is coming. We are set to publish one million copies. By the way, we are doing well on, on, on the internet. People are downloading our books in millions. And it's for free. The world needs to read the Holy Spirit. You who is already on internet, Instagram, Facebook, like our pages, share it with someone. Send messages. Tell them to go and download the books. In Jesus' name. Prepare your seed to give today and God will prosper you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> Our mass wedding. mass wedding. Another mass wedding is coming. December day. December 21st. December 21st. It's going to be great. Can I have a picture of the mass wedding, please? Because sometimes we talk mass wedding, people think the man is called mass. <laughs> no, this is couple's wedding. You need to be one of those. 
Bring the other one. That one I don't understand. You see how they dance? Give me the mass weddings. Bring the pictures. Okay. Awak. I'm on to wait a gakatonda. Touch. Ova te katebe bichi. Kwe gundi na we. Zawich fanen chaba gora vanji. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so if you're not yet, if you're living in marriage which is not sanctified, please, 21st December, 1,500 couples are ready. So be part of what God is going to do. In Jesus' name. That will be awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Thank you so you show on the television. I don't need to be in the picture. People want to see the people. I'm not one of them. You're going to love that. God is good. Amen. And all the time? God is good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You refuse to open an account. That's up to you now. Disobedience is bad. So let's, let's, let, let, let those who are planting a seed of $144, please come forward. Bring your seed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good. Amen. Amen. There are those members of the 7,000 club. You too, you can come up. Come up. In Jesus' name. Members of the 7,000 club. Come. In Jesus' name. Those of you have got your seed of a hundred thousand, please come. We we'll start with you. Fifty thousand. Come forward here. We're gonna plant seeds of greatness. God is gonna prosper us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's going to do great things. Amen. Get hold of your 50,000 shillings. We're going to give to the Lord. In Jesus' name. We're going to publish these books. We're going to give them for free. All over the world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Get your 20,000. Come. You have a seed of 20. Just come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And 
you two with 10,000, please bring your seat. Remember, you write your name there. I pray for these envelopes. I pray. I pray for your name. I call it out. And I know God is going to do great and mighty things. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. We serve a mighty God. We serve an everlasting Father. We serve a Prince of Peace. <laughs> Just laugh. The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. And He will give us more and more. He will increase us. He will establish His plan to us. He is a good God. You know, He is a marvelous God. We bless his name. We bless his name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you with 5,000, 2,000, 1,000, also get up, get your seat. Don't let the devil lie to you. Your seed means a lot to him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift your hand. So today, my seed will crush the devil's head as I publish the books of the Holy Spirit and take the gospel out there. The Father is going to increase me, add to me, and highly favor me. My life will never, never, never be the same again. Riches is in my home, in my life. Thank you, Lord. I have the gift of wisdom and I have understanding just laugh in Jesus name
to pray for this little girl. Her hand has been operated three times but it's not getting better. I'm going to believe with God all things are possible. So stretch your hand. Let's pray for her. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God Give you praise, Jesus. Waiting on you. We give you praise. We give you praise. Waiting on you. We give you praise, Jesus. Waiting on you. We give you praise. Waiting. Spirit of the living God, stand up on your feet, everyone. Full of fresh on me. Up your hands, saints, melt me, mold me, fear me, and use me. I rebuke every infection. <laughs> 
I rebuke every brokenness. I just ask you for your healing. Lord. In Jesus' name. Fresh. On me. It's okay. You'll be okay. You may be seated. And sweet.
presence. Join your hands together, saints. Oh, Jehovah. Raise your hands up. God Almighty is giving us wisdom. The priests of peace. Intestines are sick. Even you, Alan, God is healing you. God is restoring you. The stress and the worry is over. Stress. The Lord is healing you. He's your God, He's your healer. I rebuke every sickness and every disease. Every liver infection, hypertitis B, die at the root. Lord, I release your healing. Lord, I release your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask you for wisdom. When you are here, we are safe. When we are here, we are wise. We crave for your presence. Presence, Lord. There is nothing like the presence of the People join your hands together and start speaking in tongues and pray. Ask you shall receive. Ask you shall receive. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
is everywhere. You are holy. Holy, holy. Are you Lord God? Oh, mighty. Worthy, worthy, worthy. You are holy. Marabasata. together saints Get ready to pick up the people all over the field and bring them to the altar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch. Hallelujah. Touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch. Touch. What? Hallelujah Hallelujah The Holy Ghost is everywhere For so the Lord God Almighty reign Hallelujah Join your hands and lift them up And shout hallelujah Spirit touch the power of God is everywhere. You
Which is that they make you wealthy? You want to be wealthy? Join your hands. Repeat this word. With the mighty voice. On the seventh time, God will do miracles for you. Say, Oh God. Your presence. God. Your presence. Oh God. Your presence. Oh God. One more time. 
Kamba Sumba. God is taking the reproach from you. Turn your eyes to your neighbor. God is sending a second wave to you. He's sending you a second wave. Send miracles. 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 Sometimes lift your hands. That is what's going to unlock. Surrender everything you've got. May God touch you. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. Leave those on the floor. You may be seated. Maraba shako robo boshete. Jerebro soto robo boshete re debo debo. Jaraba ba 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 roko shete re debo debo. Jaraba ba 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 roko shete re. Catch us, please. Move those people on the floor forward. Move them forward. Mende re ba roko shete re bra de re re bro she. People join your hands and raise the lift them up and start laughing. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Just laugh. Just laugh. The power of God is everywhere. 